Hello, and welcome to the Liam's presentation on problem, customer, and solution. I'm Narjeet, co-founder and CEO of Lean Apps. These are my hashtags, Lean Innovation, Design Thinking, Agile, and Digital Transformation. These are some of the customers I've worked with. So, uh, before we start the presentation, I would like to say that uh, any idea you're going to work on uh, will be basic. You will have to define three things before you start working on this idea. Uh, the problem, basically the problem you're solving, the customer who, who you're solving this for, and the solution you want to develop. So uh, we'll start with the problem. So to define a problem, uh, you'll have to explain the problem in terms of a situation you are in. So I've given a kind of a, kind of a, a, a script for, for you. So uh, have you ever had a situation where you have to do X, but you're stuck because of ABC reason? So you kind of define the complete situation where your problem is and why that problem really exists. So for the sake of uh, giving examples in this presentation uh, for problem, solution, and cust customer and solution, I've used this taxi example and iTunes example. So you have, it, you have to imagine that you are in pre-Uber, pre-iTunes world where these, these two things does not exist. And what, how, how will you define the problem th these guys were facing? So for a taxi example, I would say, have you ever had a situation where you have to reach, uh, reach to your meeting, but there is no way for you to get a taxi? So your usual, uh, usual uh, guy, the guy, who, uh, the number you stored for calling taxi, won't pick up the call and, or is not available at that time. And so what you do is, as a, as a workaround, you try to reach to a taxi stand, but there's a long queue. Um, a lot of people are there in front of you, so you end up not getting a taxi and end up getting late for your work or meeting, wherever you're trying to reach. So second example of uh, defining a problem uh, in terms of iTunes. Uh, so iTunes is basically a solution. So before iTunes, uh, while buying the music at the store, so I'll walk into a physical store to buy a music, uh, and I would usually listen, listen to the song if I like it, I have to forcefully buy the whole CD or a cassette. So basically the whole album, although I, I like only one song. So this was a problem which iTunes was uh, trying to solve. So this is how you define your problem. Moving on to uh, customer. So when we say customer, customer is somebody uh, who has this problem. So you just define the problem and somebody has this problem. That'll be your customer. And uh, you also want to define along with who has the problem that if they are doing something today as a workaround to solve that problem. Uh, another way of defining a customer is somebody who is willing to pay for the solution, uh, for, for what solution you want to develop to solve that problem. So that will be another way of uh, defining a customer. So again, going back to the two examples of taxi and iTunes. Uh, so for taxi, I'm saying a 30 year old software engineer who travels more than 20 kilometers per day to work via taxi. So this guy is a, is a frequent user of taxi. Every day he's using it. Uh, so currently, so this is basically what they're doing today. Currently they're relying mostly on company provided travel. So he wants to go from A point A to point B for work. So it's mostly company provided uh, travel or they are basically, they fix a schedule with a taxi driver. Be here at nine, we'll, we'll go there and it's kind, of a, it's kind of a workaround what they have today. Uh, so another example from iTunes, I would say, who is the who would be the prospective customer of iTunes would be an app, a music listener. So this guy is uh, I'm I'm targeting mostly teenagers and twenty something guys, uh, and these guys they don't want to buy the complete album, and that's that's kind of a, a kind of a, how you identify the people. Uh, I don't want to buy the complete album for ten bucks, although I'll only like one song in that whole album. So what, what are these guys looking for? They're looking for a way to discover new music when they actually walk into a store, listen to different music, and then they want to basically want to buy one song which they like. Uh, as a workaround, uh, what they do today is they, uh, at that time I would say, uh, they, were, they were probably uh, burning the CDs. Uh, so it's basically copying, copying songs from your friends, or you were, you were making some mixtapes, uh, recording, recording from one cassette to another. So these were the workarounds for before, before iTunes. The third thing you wanna do is, uh, ah, sorry, before we go into solution, I would like to uh, point out points to remember for customer. You have to be as specific as possible when it comes to defining your customer. 
So let's say you're, you're talking about a social network, which is um, uh, a fashion social network uh, targeting teenage girls. So I, my, my, uh, how would I define a customer? A school going girl between the age of 15 and 18. So I'm trying to narrow it down as much as possible. Uh, we, we don't want to go too broad with your customer range. So narrow it down with your, uh, the, the, the gender, the age group, uh, probably if possible, where are they living? in US, some state, in Berlin, or wherever, basically try to try to do the location, the age group, and the, and the gender as much as possible. Then another example I took is like there is, a, let's say there is a retail store, and there is a product which gives me analytics of this, uh, this pro, of my store, and helps me increase the sales, uh, sales of my store. So to start with, I will just take a mid-sized retailer with more than seven, five, more than five stores, so this is kind of a definition. And I further narrow it down that he's only in electronic business, selling, let's say, laptops, fridge, uh, air condition, conditioner, and uh, uh, phones. So that kind of a business, uh, business segment I'm picking up. So it's really narrowed down. Avoid these things like saying all smart users. It's too, too wide a range. All males who drive, again, too wide a range. Women between uh, 18 to 65, too, too broad a range in case of age group. So you want to narrow it down and try to be specific. And why this is important is that when you will start uh, creating your ads uh, to, to test your idea, uh, this is where it'll, it'll be really handy when you select your age group and just target your ads to that age group or gender or, or location. So the more narrow your, not narrow your customer segment is, the better it is for you. Okay, next part you want to define what your solution is. So you, you have identified a problem, you identified who has this problem, the next thing you want to do is what, what am I going to do to solve the problem? So this is your solution to the problem. Again, taking, taking an uh, example here, uh, taxi example or Uber example, we want to build a mobile app which allows users to browse through taxis around them and book one immediately. Additionally, user will, users will be able to directly pay via app and also rate the driver. So this is kind of a solution which I offer for that problem. Taking an example of iTunes, we want to build a software where users can browse through all the music that is available, search for artists, uh, listens to part of songs, and if they like uh, it, buy that song. So it's basically giving me an option to discover new music, discover new artists, listen to parts, parts of, some music, of that music, and then buy only that song, not the complete album. So these are the three things you need to do for each idea. Uh, and then we'll go to the next step. That's it. If you have any questions around this, just drop me an email and I'll, I'll answer that as, as soon as possible. Thank you very much. See you later.